When you step on the brakes on your car and the wheels begin to spin, anti-lock systems take over and pump your brakes for you. How hard should they be pumped? How fast? That's, there's a mathematical theory of that. Anti-lock brakes are simulated and designed on computers. It's uh, hard to put it into words because his contributions have had such a profound effect on our field. He took the knowledge we had about linear systems, about how to solve them and use them, and put them in a form where someone who really didn't understand that knowledge could use them. My early education, grade school and high school, was mostly in, uh, in Salt Lake City in Utah. And in junior high school, I had a teacher, Mr. Persh, who let me do my own thing, let, sent me down to the library with a book and said, read this book. I really give him credit for, for letting me do my own thing in math. Cleve said that he got this award for helping computers do what God intended them to do. That's cute, but it kind of misses the point and the value of his contribution. In the uh, 1970s, I was involved in projects called Linpack and Icepack, which were Fortran subroutine libraries for doing matrix computation. Today, Linpack is, is a benchmark. That's what it's famous for. But back then, it was a subroutine library. So I wrote the first version of MATLAB in Fortran in the late 1970s as a kind of matrix calculator. MATLAB stands for Matrix Laboratory. Really ought to be MATLAB. Cleve Muller is getting the Pioneer Award for his contributions to creating software MATLAB that has really changed the way we teach engineering uh, around the world. The first computer I used in, in, at Caltech in, in 1958-59 was the Burroughs 205 Datatron, a tube machine uh, drums, paper tape. Uh, I like to say it was a personal computer because only one person could use it at a time. So MATLAB is an incredible piece of software under Cleve's design that allows a scientist or engineer to really think about their problem space versus how to compute it on their laptop. It's allowed the entire profession to really move forward with modeling and simulation and be able to solve problems that wouldn't be solvable any other way. In 1979, I visited Stanford and taught a numerical analysis course and used MATLAB in the course. And uh, other people started using it, students at Stanford and then students at companies near Stanford. A guy named Jack Little, uh, who was a control engineer, uh, started using MATLAB for control theory. I didn't know anything about that. I didn't expect, I didn't know what, what the subject was at the time. The PC came out a, f a few years later. Jack anticipated the use of the PC and technical computing, and he said, let's put, make this software commercial. What he did in founding both uh, numerical uh, libraries such as Linpack and Icepack, which were used for generations, are still used for uh, high performance computing, but also in creating MATLAB, which is a tool that is now used across all disciplines of engineering and sciences, and it's often used by engineers to prototype something in the computer. It's pretty amazing that, that MATLAB has caught on the way it had. Well, it's not an overnight success. It's been 25, 30 years. The, the mathematics in MATLAB and the graphics in MATLAB make it widely applicable in many, many technical fields. Things that none of us, that I didn't anticipate, that Jack didn't anticipate. And uh, that's led to its use all over the world. What an honor it has been to share this stage with this year's winners. We are so fortunate to have them among us tonight. I've really had two careers. The first half of my career was as a professor, and I enjoyed that very much. I had terrific students. Those students are now professors at a number of universities around the country, and that was, that was before MATLAB. The second half of my career is the MATLAB part, 
and uh, I've been a I've been a visiting professor on occasion, but the, the being a professor is not a big part of my life anymore. Yesterday I was visiting Caltech and visiting some physics labs in the basement of the physics building, and um, when I said I was the wrote the first MATLAB. They were, they were blown away. You can learn mathematics when you're young. You can learn to be a writer later. So stay in school. And um, that's my advice today for young people. The Computer Society has created the Pioneer Award to recognize truly outstanding technical achievements such as uh, Cleve Moeller's activities towards the profession. He got the award for systematizing knowledge. He took the knowledge about how to solve a certain class of mathematical problems, linear systems, and put that in a form, in software, that would allow anyone who had to deal with this kind of problem to solve it and make it part of a bigger system, even if they didn't understand the mathematics or all the subtleties that went into it. Probably the, the plane you took here or the car you drove here, the systems were, were very likely first uh, prototyped using models in that lab. So that it, he is a true pioneer because he's had a large effect, a profound effect on the field. It was really a substantial accomplishment because it involved looking at all aspects of the mathematics. But in the end, he produced a very fundamental tool that has remained a fundamental part of computer science and computer systems. I enjoy being recognized by these by awards like this. You have to you have to think this is pretty important. I go down the aisle in an airplane and see if somebody's using MATLAB in a laptop on the airplane. Say, excuse me, I see what you're doing. Tell me about what you're doing. That's enormously rewarding when, uh, when that happens. That, so meeting somebody, in a, meeting somebody in an airport using MATLAB is very different than getting the IEEE Pioneer Award. Uh, but they both, they both, I get the same feeling from both. But, um, I'm happy that MATLAB is my legacy.